If you love scoring, you're going to love this week's main event. Lake Orion at home versus Troy in a key OAA conference matchup. Colts looking to beat the Dragons for the ninth straight time. Troy's first nine games, like a day at Cedar Point, up and down. Colts in black won their first two, then lost three in a row, now riding a three-game win streak. First half action, Michelle Capetto in striking distance. Nice pass to Sophia Proin, who quickly redirects. Colts trail three to two. 10th ranked Lake Orion averaging 15 and a half goals per game. Eighth best in the state. Gwyneth Broadbent, the fine dish to a slashing Ashley Maxwell. The senior co-captain tied this one at seven into the break. Lake Orion came out on fire to start the second half. Broadbeck with another delivery, this time to the junior Ali Lazara. Snipes one of her five goals in the game. Dragons up 15 to eight at home. They got this one in the bag, right? Think again. Troy sophomore Morgan McDonald wasn't having it. She poured in a game high nine. Yes, nine goals. We were deadlocked at 16 and we needed overtime. We move to late in the extra session. Night is upon us. Troy trailing by one. McDonald finds a junior, Katie Farably, who rocks, fires, and fills it. Game knotted at 17. Let's go to sudden death, shall we? Lake Orion given the eight-meter throw. The senior Broadbeck given the honors. Comes through with the game winner. Lake Orion beats Troy for the first time ever. It took three OTs, but the Dragons score 18 again. 18 to 17 the final. These are the high school moments you never forget. I'm shaking because I honestly didn't think it was gonna go. And it's honestly, I did it for the girls. These girls are my life, they're my family, they're my best friends. And it's a great thing to actually help them out and give them what they needed.